Ghostwire Tokyo. Spooky. Ghostwire Tokyo is an 8 hour plus long first person action game where you play as Akito who's been taken over by a spirit after you die. This spirit offers to help you find your sister if you help him take down this masked demon dude. You agree. Merge, and now you have these supernatural powers. Everyone in Tokyo is dead. There's spirits around this open world that you free by completing optional side activities that also help you level up much quicker in the game. And crawling around this empty city are these creepy demon enemies that you have to blast with your supernatural powers and pull their cores out with your bare hands or with some sort of ghost wire. If you stick to the main campaign, there's nothing special here. In fact, the game would be pretty mediocre if you don't explore this world. Thankfully, you'll want to. Clearing these corrupted trees in your way, cleansing these gates for fast travel points, and clearing the fog to open up the world more. Doing some great and also some ridiculous side quests, which can really immerse you into this world. These are hands down the best moments of Ghostwire Tokyo. Immersing yourself into the side activities. It's just a shame you'll so quickly grow tired of this world. You'll get used to the spooky monsters, the side quests will start to feel unnecessary, the skill tree leaves a lot to be desired, so you'll stop caring about rescuing souls once you've unlocked every ability you care about. So you'll probably find yourself like me about halfway through the game just sticking to the main quests, which are good, but nothing to blow you away. Ghostwire Tokyo is fun though. The combat is tense, you'll be juggling through abilities, sneaking up behind enemies trying not to alarm the others. I loved my time spent in this creepy world. My only gripe with the combat though is the skin crawling nails on chalkboard feeling when you run out of one of the three energies and have to switch to another. I hate it and I wish the game would just switch to the next automatically when you're out of one of them, as you do have to destroy glowing items in the environment to refill your ammo or pull the cores out of enemies. Overall this is a decently enjoyable action horror game. It's unique, it's memorable, worth hopping into, even if it slowly goes from wow this game is amazing to that game is pretty good. I give Ghostwire Tokyo a 7.5 out of 10. If you played Ghostwire Tokyo, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at Gaming. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful. <laughs> You thought that video was good? Ha! Huh? You should probably watch this video. The very video that's on your screen right now that YouTube hand selected for you out of all my thousands of videos. This is the one that it wants you to watch next. And make sure you're subscribed because I'm not a genie or anything, but I'm pretty sure you get 42 years of bad luck if you made it this far into my video and you're not subscribed. You don't have to subscribe, but I'm just looking out for you. I'm just looking out for your luck and your life.